Now, after spring practice today, nine former Rockets took their place on the field of Fetterman for their pro day. Nearly every NFL team in attendance of major interest to the scouts and coaches. All Mac quarterback Logan Woodside, as you would suspect, as well as second team All Mac defensive end Ola Adani, who entered the draft early. However, former Rocket wideout and former Cincinnati Bengal Alonzo Russell was also there, trying to make his way back to the NFL. BCSN's Zach Herrick was not participating in the 40 yard dash or shuttle drill, but did file this report. That's right, Eric. There was a lot of talk today about quarterback Logan Woodside and defensive end Ola Edaney here at Pro Day. It was really their last chance to impress coaches and scouts ahead of the NFL draft, and they certainly did that as their stocks are on the rise. Logan Woodside is coming off of a solid performance at the NFL Combine, but today, another opportunity to show teams what he can bring to the NFL. At the Combine, it was a lot of medical and that type of stuff, and then obviously the, the physical on the field running, testing, which I did good and all that. So I felt like all I needed to do was come out here today and just throw, um, have a script ready, something that I felt comfortable with that I could go and show what I needed to do. I think I did really well. Um, I think, you know, my feet were good, um, you know, made the throws I needed to make, missed a few, but corrected them. So that was good for me to do. And I felt like, you know, I did the best I could do today. And the reviews are in. Many walked away impressed with Woodside's performance today. That includes former Toledo quarterback Bruce Gradkowski and Woodside's former teammate Kareem Hunt. I mean, I think he's doing a great job. You know, Logan, he has his mindset. He, he's physically fit. He throws the ball just as well, if not better, than a lot of these quarterbacks coming out of the draft, and his footwork's better. So those are two things that stand out to me. You're going to hear a lot more of Logan Woodside just with the things he's doing and the coaches now being able to get, him, get to see him in person and be like, hey, who's this kid out of Toledo? Oh, uh, Logan, you know, he fits right in. He's, he's a good, great quarterback, great leader, and uh, – you know, a great teammate, a great person to be around. For Woodside, it doesn't matter when or where. All he wants is an opportunity in the NFL. I just look at, you know, who's going who's gonna to take a chance on me and obviously believe in me to, to contribute to their team, whether that's as a backup, as a starter, or getting water for somebody. I don't really care. Just I'm going to do the best I can to, uh, to be the best player and teammate I can be. Then there's defensive end Ola Idaney, who is also coming off of a productive NFL combine. You know, I just try to focus on, you know, my zone coverages. Um, you know, the season went by. I didn't really do a lot of uh, pass dropping and things like that. I just did a lot more pass rush and things like that. So today I kind of showed them that I could do both. Adani recorded 66 total tackles as a junior last season and is someone who can bring a lot to an NFL franchise. You know, I could bring a guy that's, you know, hardworking, a guy that's trustworthy, um, a guy that just comes in every day ready to work and just learn and build up on it. And it obviously doesn't hurt to get pro day advice from UT legend and NFL rushing leader Kareem Hunt. Uh, just pretty much relax, you know, don't make it bigger than what it is. Just go out there and relax and uh, just play football. You know, you've been doing it a long time. It's just, you know, it's like another day. Just go out there and show them what you've been doing. Now, Woodside and Adani will take the next few weeks to work towards achieving that ultimate goal. After this, you know, I have uh, individual workouts, um, interviews, just little things like that. And then that's all about it. And since I was in the second grade, I've wanted to get drafted to play quarterback in the NFL. So it's, it's close. Um, Got to wrap up a couple of things, and then the rest is in God's hands, so I'm looking forward to it. So now it's time to wait and see if a Danian Woodside will be drafted in the 2018 NFL Draft, which will be held in Dallas beginning on April 26th. From Fetterman Training Center, Zach Herrig, BCSN.